Oakland Police Chief Leron Armstrong says safety is his top priority. This as gun violence continues to plague the streets of Oakland. The department has investigated 120 homicides this year compared to 101 last year. More than 1,000 guns have been recovered. And just last week, there were 45 reported shootings and robberies. Cronfors Jonathan McCall talked one on one with the chief about what can be done to stop the violence, and he joins us in the studio with that story. Jonathan? Well, Catherine, getting a chance to talk with Chief Armstrong today, he says there are plenty of factors that are triggering this crime spree. Repeat violent offenders on the streets, but he says, most, most importantly, he says that he actually needs people to help people, not only officers to help respond to the calls and to possibly prevent the violence, he also needs more people to speak up. 2021 has been a violent year on Oakland streets. The city has seen 120 murders and 550 shootings so far. Well, the first thing I think about is that it's not just a number, right? That it really represents so many families that have been impacted by violence. The violence hasn't been limited to just the streets. It's also plagued packed freeways. Back in May, two teens were killed when someone fired into a party bus on I-580. Earlier this month, 23-month-old Jasper Wu was killed on I-880 when a stray bullet hit the car he was riding in. A lot of the gang and group violence finds itself on the freeway when these shootings happen and have some connection to Oakland gangs or local Bay Area gangs. Armstrong says there are common factors when it comes to the violence. That we see group and gang violence really being the driver of violence in the city of Oakland. That we've seen conflicts, uh, conflicts that have gotten out of control in our city. Along with repeat offenders on the streets. The justice system has to work in a way that holds people accountable for committing violence in the city of Oakland and not sending people right back on the streets. Solving the crimes, he says, has also been a challenge. The department right now boasting just a 35% homicide clearance rate. It means many of these cases aren't getting solved. That number, one of the lowest in all of America. In 2019, we had 72 homicides. Our clearance rate was around 50%. It says that when you have more homicides with a small group of officers investigating, it makes it challenging for them to actually dedicate the time needed to solve these crimes. Despite personal and passionate pleas, Armstrong says he needs more people in order to help people not just officers on the streets to respond to and to prevent crime. He says he also needs more people to speak up on what they know. That you need police that can prevent crime, not just respond to crime. That's important that people uh, not only uh, are not victims of crime, but also people don't fear that they'll be a victim of crime. Another high profile case the department is currently investigating the shooting of former OPD Captain Ursi Joyner. Joyner is recovering and out of the hospital after a shooting earlier this year. That case still remains open. Police say so far no arrests have been made. As for more help on the way for the department this week, a new academy kicked off with 39 cadets. That's the largest number that the department has seen in the last few years. In the studio tonight, Jonathan McCall, Cron 4 News. All right.